the scene right about 24 hours ago. That trophy and that team, the Stony Brook Seawolves, champions of the America East Conference, join us now. First of all, gentlemen, congratulations to you. Uh, Coach Steve Peichel, um, you know, this, this whole thing, and, and, and I don't think you can make too much of the fact that this is the very first time that this is happening for this program. I wonder if you bring that up during the regular season at all. You know what? It's tough to make history, so we did talk about it. Uh, this has been a special group for a long time, and we've been close. And uh, we got over the hill yesterday. Our community was unbelievable. The students, I mean, March Madness hit our campus, and our guys did a tremendous job. And our university is uh, exploding right now. Yeah, look, you know, yesterday, you, you guys could have a lot better things to do, but you, you had legitimately were the big men on campus yesterday. What was yesterday like? I mean, it was electric all day long. The lines uh, to see the game first and foremost. Tickets all week were a problem. Uh, our guys were focused. The community was so involved. Everyone was in red. You saw the excitement after the game was over, and that continued all through the night. What stood out for you guys? I, uh, you, four of you have a microphone. Any one of you can feel free to answer this. But since you guys clinched and won that championship, what's been the most memorable thing that's happened whether it was a text, a phone call, something in the celebration, but it has to be G-rated, so keep it up. <laughs> All right, so share that with me. Um, you know, for me, it was just, you know, sharing this moment with my family, with my dad. Um, you know, they come to every game, and I was just, you know, extremely happy that I, I could share that moment with them. So for me, that was that. Anybody else? Jamil? Uh, well, two things. For me, um... One, just sharing my father, and after the game, Mark Morrison uh, DM'd me and uh, <laughs> said, uh, uh, good job. So that's also a memorable moment. Excellent. Did you feel do anything significant at all? A little bit, a little bit. Career high, 43 and 10, but he's one of the few guys in the history of college basketball that has been able to have a career where he scored over 2K points and 1K rebounds. And again, I don't know the full number of guys that have done that, but that's um, really special, special company. I'd like to know when uh, during the season you guys felt like this might actually happen, that this, that this could be a reality. Uh, personally for me, I felt like it, uh, July 2nd when we first started, like, that's a great day. A, as, yeah, you know, as a that team. was my birthday, Greg. July. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, Richard. Oh yeah, so uh, everybody came in focused together. Everybody came in with one, with one goal only. It wasn't no accolations and no who trying to win this award, this award. We just all came in trying to make history and go to the NCAA. How team. much did the disappointment of recent seasons drive you guys, particularly the seniors? Uh, well, it was fueled a chip on our shoulder to just uh, prove people wrong, um, show people what we can do when we play together. Um, this is a selfless group, uh, no egos, and uh, we just wanted, wanted to prove people wrong. Now, I know in times like this, coaches can sometimes lose their minds. <laughs> How was your coach all through the whole process? <laughs> um, you know, they've been they've been great. You know, in practice. Um, sometimes, we, you know, we get sick of them a little bit, but, <laughs> but, but um, no, but, but you know, they're great to us, and we just, we just go out every day and, and practice hard, and um, it's just a great feeling, honestly. Where, where, where is the viewing party going to take place? Because you guys it, know that you're in. Do you have a designated spot where you can watch the selection show? We're doing it right in our brand new arena. Which oh, okay. Is awesome, and the community's coming. It's wow. going to be packed again. Today, they're going to continue to party in Stony Brook for a while. <laughs> Coach Clark touched on it just a moment ago that you guys have knocked on the door so often recently. Um, did you ever get the feeling it might not happen? You know what? You got to go through some obstacles when you're trying to make history. And no program, you know, at our school, Division One level in basketball has ever been. And I told these guys, it built a lot of character. And we've gotten close. It's so difficult to get there. And we say you got to hit home runs in non-conference, then the regular season conference, and then you got to hit another one. So to hit three home runs is a hard thing to do. Reggie Jackson, he might have done it a few times. But uh, we did it this year, and this group got us over the hill. They're unselfish. They're a special group. And our university is a special place, so couldn't be more excited. Now, as we come down the home stretch, we're going to start naming teams at 5.30 this afternoon. Who do you guys want? Who do you want to play? <laughs> <laughs> who, do, who do you want? Who do you really want to get? Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll take anyone. We're just uh, happy to be here right now. Uh, <laughs> have, haven't been there ever, so just, we just uh, want to play anyone. What? What was he going to say? <laughs> <laughs> oh, they won't go there for us. <laughs> guys, congratulations yes, to you. Well Thank done. you so much for taking the time to be here, and we wish you all the best, okay? Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. All right, coming up.
thoughts on the A-10 championship game and a unique experience for a couple of NCAA tournament teams right after this.